So hello guys, welcome to my channel today. In this video, I'm going to talk about my experiences with Kaylee Linux as daily driver. First of all, let's talk about why I switched to Linux, problems that I faced, good things too. Let's talk about why I switched to Linux. The reason is my laptop is a Pentium dual core processor with 4 GB RAM and HDD. You can imagine that how will a Windows OS run in my system? Just imagine that it's very slow. Also, I changed my RAM size to 8 GB and with SSD, but still slow. That's why I switched to Linux. I choose Kaylee Linux because I used in a virtual box and have little bit of knowledge about it. Also, Linux distribution is not mm, matter. It's matter how you sit and make your own. So I go for that. Actually, I got a problem while installing. The problem is Grub Bootloader not working, or you can say it's stuck on that page, not doing anything. It's freeze. If you have the same problem as I do, try this. Install Windows, then create a partition, then install Linux. Linux Grub Bootloader will not install in your system because of Windows Bootloader already exists. Then login in to Kaylee Linux. If you can't login in, there is a video I made, check it out, you can see on top. Once you boot in, you can remove Windows or not. It depends on you. My first impression was it's okay, I installed. I installed necessary things I want, like printer, office, VS code, much more. Also, it breaks two times while set up. Also, I learned so many things while use. How to install Windows Office on Linux using Wine. That very helpful to me. I learned so much about how it's working on background. How a system really works. Learning programming in Linux is easy because all the necessary packages already installed. I won't suggest you to use Linux out of the box. Try to use in virtual box if you are confident. Try dual boot, finally installed as main OS. I had so much to talk about my experiences. We can more later in next video. Thanks for watching.